Ed Swanson had been on dialysis for six months. His daughter, Julie, would sometimes accompany him to treatments. She knew that her dad needed a kidney transplant, but she was just a teenager and too young to donate a kidney. But as soon as she turned 18, she proudly visited Toronto General Hospital to be tested for compatibility to serve as her father's kidney donor. The laboratory technician conducted blood tests on both Ed and Julie. Julie was in good health and her blood type was compatible with Ed's. Strangely, however, some of the X chromosomes did not match up. Retesting confirmed that Ed and Julie could not be biologically related. A lawyer suggested that if Julie were to donate and only later find out the truth, she could sue the hospital for donating under false pretenses. In addition, Ed's polycystic kidney disease had a hereditary component, so knowing that Ed wasn't her biological father could put Julie at ease, as she would be less likely to contract the condition. But revealing this information could jeopardize family relationships. Does Julie have the right to know the truth? Who owns genetic information? How might modern ethicists approach such a situation? And what can ancient Jewish wisdom contribute? This will be the topic of our final lesson of medicine and morals.